Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are finally here and they brought with them so many new Pokemon. So I'm going to go through and give my initial thoughts on every single one of them. And yes, I'll even try to pronounce all of these Pokemon names correctly. Sprigatio. <laughs> Sprigatito. Sprigatito. It's a grass cat. When I look at this thing, it's pretty cute, but all I can think is it's going to stand up, isn't it? Well, 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 look what the standing cat dragged in. I honestly do like Floragato. I think it's pretty cool for a middle evolution, even though it stands. I like the flower. Meow Scarada, on the other hand. I'm not the biggest fan of the magician cat. It just makes me think of the grass version of Delphi. It's a miss for me. Fue Coco is adorable and I love it so much. Definitely my favorite of the starters. Honestly, if Crocolore didn't have its hat, I don't know if I would love it, but it has the hat and I absolutely love its hat. The more I see Skeledurge, the more I love this Pokemon. The typing's very cool. The stats are really great. And I just love crocodile alligator Pokemon so much. This is definitely my favorite starter. Quaxley is a duck and it has a hat. I'm a big fan of its hat. Quaxwell is a duck with a hat and a fancy sounding name. I like that. Quaquavel has a name I'm pretty sure I butchered, but also has a hat. And I am a fan of this. Lechonk's still the best name any Pokemon's ever been given. I love Lechonk James. It's incredible. Oinkalone looks like a pig and it looks different based on its gender. I don't really have any thoughts. It's, it's a very pig looking pig. <laughs> I really love Tarantula. It's a very cool early route bug Pokemon. The colors on it are really nice. Really cool Pokemon. I'm not a big fan of Spidops though. I I don't know. It's it's so much uglier and so much creepier, which makes sense because it's a spider, but a miss for me. Another early route bug Pokemon that I really love. Nimble's a really cool Pokemon. The only negative on it is I always say Jack be nimble, Jack be quick and I feel like that's gonna get old very quick. I absolutely love low kicks. It is one of the coolest bug Pokemon we've ever gotten in my opinion. I didn't know I needed it in my life, but now it's here. I never want it to leave. This thing is great and I think it will protect me from any danger. Ami is very cute and chubby and probably one of my favorite Pikachu clones. I just like the fact that its evolution is called Pomo. <laughs> I also didn't expect it to become an electric fighting type. So that's pretty cool. After Pommy and Pomo, I was hoping for a cooler name than Pomot and I was also hoping Hoping for a design that looked a little bit more different than Pomo, but this Pokemon's fine. I think I'd like Paul Day and Wooper a lot more if it wasn't only ever called Pooper by everyone when it pops up on screen. I love Claude Sire. This Pokemon is so fun. It's so big. It's very fun. And Water Absorb on this poison ground Pokemon. Very cool. I honestly don't know how I feel about Tandem Mouse, if I even said that correctly. It's just too poorly drawn mice standing next to each other. I will admit Mousehold is a really good name and it's kind of fun that there's a family of three version and a family of four version. I feel compelled the shiny hunt to have both versions. Fido is perfect. I love it so much and I will protect it with every fiber of my being. I have wanted a Dachshund Pokemon for so long. Doxbun is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time already. It's so cute. It's so great. I really love everything about it. Smoliv is both small and also an olive. Unlike Smoliv, Dolliv is a little bigger. I actually think I kind of like it. There's no way I pronounce this correctly. Arbolova. <laughs> this Pokemon may need to grow on me. I think I need to see it in the game to really fully form my opinion on it. I absolutely love the name Squawkabilly. And this bird is growing on me every time I see it. Yellow is my favorite color. Being able to get a yellow Squawkabilly, that's all I really needed. And I do think all four of the colors they picked look really good on it. So pretty simple bird, but a fun bird with a fun name. Mama Mia. Why does a Minecraft Mario mushroom exist and is it called Nakli? Nakli? I don't know. I know it's supposed to be some science term, so it, I'm probably saying it wrong and Mikey's angry, but why does this exist? Knackle stack doesn't look like it's from Mario. It only looks like it's from Minecraft, which I, I think is an improvement. I don't know. All of my thoughts about this Pokemon revolve around the name where my friend is very adamant that it's not Knackle stack. It, it sounds like something else. I know I'm not gonna pronounce this name right, but I wanna call it Garganackle. It's a fun rock Pokemon. We've definitely had some odd rock designs in the past, but after the first two stages, I think they actually stuck the landing with this guy. My first Pokemon game was Pokemon Yellow and I would always get a Mankey in those games and evolve it into a Primeape. Seeing Annihilate an evolution for Primeape is honestly a dream come true that I didn't even know I had. Fighting Ghost is an incredible typing. 
the actual design of the Pokemon is insanely cool. This is one of the coolest evolutions we have ever gotten, and I really love it. I didn't think that these guys would have a baby form, but Charcadet is pretty cute. It's small. Armor Rouge, on the other hand, I knew existed, and I've loved it ever since I saw it. It's got the Mega Man cannons. The colors are incredible. I think this is one of the cooler Pokemon we've ever gotten. And that's not to say Cerulege is not cool in its own right. Honestly, the only thing I like about the other Pokemon more than this one is just the colors. The sword hands are very, very cool. The colors on this are also great. Both Pokemon are very cool, and I would like to use both of them. Pad Bulb just makes me so happy. Look at it. He's so happy. Belly makes me so happy as well. I'm the frog guy in the Pokemon community to get a frog that just looks like a happy Squishmallow. <laughs> it's so adorable. It's so fun. It's going to be on probably every team I use in a Gen 9 playthrough. What rails a bird? It's a fun bird. I don't dislike the bird. I don't love the bird. I absolutely love Kilowatt Roll. This is a very cool looking bird. Very intimidating. Very sleek. The colors pop and look great. And the stat distribution is actually pretty good. Really, really cool bird. Didn't expect to like it this much. I have been waiting and asking for a Dunsparce evolution for the longest of times. I've seen so many different depictions of a Dunsparce evolution, each cooler than the last. This is Dunsparce with a second segment or Dunsparce with a third segment sometimes. It just makes me so sad. Farragaraf, I, I think I said it right. Don't love the name, but I absolutely love the design. This is very fun. A Gen 2 Pokemon that got an evolution that it absolutely needed, and I absolutely love looking at. It makes me even sadder about Dunsparce's evolution. I love dogs so much, and we got so many new dog Pokemon in this game. I love Mastiff. It's very fun. It's very, very silly. I mean, just look at its design. It's such a silly little guy. Unsurprisingly, I also love Mabostiff, if I'm saying that right. That did not sound right. Mabostiff? I don't know. But what I do know is I love this Pokemon, and I will protect it with my life. I don't know what it is about this Pokemon, but I love Shrudel so much. Such a fun name. It's such a fun design. It's a little silly guy. And, and I'm a big silly guy. <laughs> Rafae, I think. Maybe. I don't know. It's like the new version of Smeargle, at least in design. Bramblin's not a Pokemon I ever expected to get, but I really love it. It's a very simplistic Pokemon in simplistic design. Bramblegast is even cooler than Bramblin. I really do love this thing. The more I look at it, the more I love it. Another Grass Ghost Pokemon that will annoy me every time I battle it. So maybe I just need to join forces with it. <laughs> Toad School might be the goofiest Pokemon they've ever made, and I love every single thing about it. Whoever decided Tentacool should get a form where it stands on its little tentacles and runs very quickly should get a huge raise and multiple promotions. And on the other hand, Toad's Cruel is very, very cool. It doesn't look ridiculous and goofy. It just looks very intimidating with very cool colors. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Crab? What do I need to say about Claw? It's a rock crab. It jumps off of mountains at you. I like the rock crab. I'm usually not a fan of baby form Pokemon, but Capsicate is actually pretty fun. It looks intimidating. It's got like a little evil grin. I love Scoville. This Pokemon is so freaking cool. The design, A+. The name, A+. The typing, incredible. Everything about this is really, really cool. And I love that the attack and special attack are both high. You have like the two different heads. I assume one is more the physical attacker, one is a special attacker. One of my favorite Pokemon ever. I'm 99% sure that Relor is a dung beetle moving a ball of dung. I don't know if I have any more thoughts on it. I didn't see the vision at first, but Rabska is actually a pretty cool Pokemon. Bug Psychic is not something I expected. The colors on this thing really pop and are really fun. It's more powerful than I thought it would be. I don't know how they actually made a cool dung beetle Pokemon, but they did it. I don't know what Flittle is, but it's very small. It's very adorable, and I love it. You could have given me a million guesses. I would have never thought that Flittle would evolve into an ostrich, but an ostrich Pokemon's pretty cool. Pinkatink is an incredibly fun Pokemon. I love this entire line, and every time I see it, it grows on me. Fairy Steel is such a cool typing. Tinkatuff is just that. It's a, it's a very tough looking Pokemon with a hammer that it's, it's gonna bash Pokemon with, and that's very scary. I need it on my team. Tinkatuff is scaring me. Tinkaton is just chef's kiss. It's so good. It's so unique. I honestly kind of wish it was the pseudo legendary. I don't know. I'm excited to use this thing. It's great. Wiglet is such a funny name for such a funny Pokemon. I don't know why they made this. 
but I love it. Wug Trio is maybe my favorite Bogohan name of all time. <laughs> this Bogohan is so ridiculous. I love Wug Trio. It's the MVP. Bombardier is such a cool name for a pretty cool Pokemon. Flying Dark never disappoints. People have been asking for a dolphin Pokemon for the longest time, and we finally got one with Finny Zen, and I really love this thing. It's so adorable. The colors are great. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect the dolphin to evolve into a superhero, and I don't know exactly why it looks Looks like that 650 total base stats with 160 attack i i really don't understand anything going on with this pokemon and i would like to learn a lot more about it the room <laughs> uh, room <laughs> Uh, Varum. I don't know why, but I love the fact that the motor Pokemon is called Varum. I definitely love Revavroom. It's very cool that this Pokemon is like such a big part of the story, at least like the evil team story. Very unique and different from anything we've gotten. Cyclozar is a pretty cool looking Pokemon. Uh, it's fun. It's cool to see like running around the game as a cool shiny. Cool Pokemon overall, and way stronger than I would have expected. Orthworm, the Earthworm Pokemon. I didn't expect it to be a Steel type. I absolutely love the colors on this thing. It's a pretty cool and unique Pokemon, which I never would have expected from an Earthworm. I don't know how to feel about Glimet or Glimme. In the game, it kind of looks like a like a bike horn. I don't know what to do with this thing. I definitely like Lamora more than the pre-evolution. I'm still pretty confused by this Pokemon overall, but it's also way better than I expected with a special attack I would have never guessed. Last Last but not least for the new dog Pokemon, we have Grievard. I really love this guy. It's adorable. It's happy. He's got the candle on the head. And it doesn't make me sad, which is big, because I thought a ghost dog would make me sad. Houndstone, on the other hand, much less cute, but pretty cool. I actually do really like this Pokemon. Somebody needs to explain to me why we have a Flamingo Pokemon named Flamingo that just looks like a Flamingo. I don't know why it's flying and fighting. I don't know why its stats are so decent, but the ridiculousness of this Pokemon is making me love it. Satoddle is such a cute name for a cute Pokemon. I love it so much. I really hope it wobbles back and forth when it walks. So Titan is one of the first Pokemon we saw for these games, and it's still one of the coolest Pokemon I've ever seen. 170 HP is ridiculous. This Pokemon is incredible. I cannot wait to find one. I honestly didn't think Bisharp needed an evolution, but now that we got one, I'm pretty happy about it. This thing is really freaking sick, and I have a sneaky suspicion that the thing that it's sitting on, it kind of like floats around on, and if that's true, this Pokemon's incredible. I honestly thought Malusa was going to be a Steel Water Pokemon or a Steel Psychic Pokemon, but it's a pretty cool looking fish. It's very spiky. The purple really pops. That's pretty cool. Dondozo. Not a bozo, a Pokemon that I very much like. Very confident I'm gonna mess up this name, but Tatsugiri seems like a sushi Pokemon. I had sushi last night. Feels weird saying that I ate sushi last night and looking at the sushi Pokemon. I'm sure it'll grow on me. Great Tusk is such a strong name, and I love this for Dawn fan. Ground fighting, the stats are incredible, the design is incredible. It's not even the only Dawn fan new form we've gotten. This thing is so freaking cool. I love it so so much. I didn't expect Jigglypuff to get a Paradox form. I didn't want it to get a Paradox form, but Screamtail is actually pretty cool. 570 base stat total for Jigglypuff is ridiculous and incredibly unexpected. Fluttermane is probably the only ancient Paradox Pokemon that I don't love. The design is meh. Slitherwing is so freaking cool. I have always loved Volcarona and bug fighting Volcarona with that design with those stats is sick. I don't know what to do with Sandy Shocks. It's no Magnezone, that's for sure. This Pokemon has absolutely grown on me. Brute Bonnet or Brute Bonnet is pretty cool. Amoongus did not need a stat boost or a new form, but it doesn't have Regenerator anymore, and I appreciate that. The only thing I don't like about Iron Treads is that I like Great Tusk a lot more. It's still a really cool form on its own. Ground Steel is sick. And really, again, the only thing I dislike about it is that there's a cooler new form. This thing's still really awesome. Delibird absolutely needed some love. I did not expect it to get a Paradox Pokemon form called Iron Bundle. Uh, it's a robot that delivers presents now. That's very powerful. I feel like this thing's gonna be way better than I expect. It's a straightforward name, but I absolutely love Iron Hands for this thing. It's just walking around as a robot saying, catch these hands and then electrocuting people or slapping them. I didn't see this thing coming in any way, shape, or form, but I'm happy we got it. Iron Jugulus is Hydreigon. If Hydreigon was weaker, a robot and now a flying type. Iron Moth doesn't look that much different than Volcarona, but there's something about it that I do still like. I mean, the wings do look really cool in that form, 
Fire Poison's interesting. I think I need to think a little bit more on that of how good that will really work with this Pokemon, but I think it's pretty cool overall. Not as cool as the other Volcarona form, though. Tyranitar has always been one of the coolest Pokemon they've ever made, and Iron Thorns lives up to that. This thing is so cool. I didn't expect Rock Electric, but this thing's very, very cool. I love Frigibax. It's a little guy. He's just a cute little guy doing cute little guy things. And so quickly, Arctabax becomes a very cool, intimidating Pokemon. I don't always love the middle stage mons, but this one's pretty cool. This thing's called Baxcalibur? That is so cool. What an elite name. This is the pseudo legendary of the generation. I love the design. Every time I look at it, I love it a little bit more. Gimme ghoul, gabagool, gimme ghoul, gabagool. I actually didn't think gimme ghoul was going to evolve, but Goldango is very sick. I need to know how it evolves because I really want to use one of these. I'm very prepared to mess up this name. Wo Chien. It's a legendary slug. I think I mess with it. I think this is called Chien Pao. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering these names, but I love this Pokemon. I love this design. This thing is so freaking sick. Oh my God. I think they finally made a moose Pokemon. I didn't realize it because obviously it's a Ting Lu as like a, like a metal bowl. I need to see this thing moving around. I need to know if it's a moose, but if it's a moose, I love it. And if it's not a moose, I think I still like it. Chi Yu looks like a goldfish I had as a kid that I really, really love. This thing is one of my favorite legendaries ever. It is so unique and different from any legendary we've ever really seen. Roaring Moon is the design we all wish we got with Mega Salamence, and I'm so happy we have this thing. I need this on my team, and I need it now. Iron Valiant is a very, very cool idea. Gallade and Gardevoir put together. Berry fighting is pretty intimidating. The stats are intimidating. This thing is not something I want to mess with. I should be able to pronounce this thing, but I don't think I can. Paradon. <laughs> fighting dragon's pretty sick. The design is incredible. I really love this thing. Last but certainly not least is Maradon. I do really love this dragon. Not as much as the ancient form, but uh, this motorcycle dragon's pretty sick too. Overall, I'm really happy with what they did this generation. The new Pokemon are awesome. I just wish the Dunsparce evolution was better.